What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, how the fuck did you find me? You must have been diving to the deep, dark places of YouTube. Just kidding, but hi guys, so I'm sure you saw today's title and you were rolling your mother effing eyes again. You're like, hmm, $150 mascara? Has this bitch lost his mind again? We know the answer to that one. But today, I am going to be doing a first impressions on the Hourglass Cosmetics brand new The Curator Mascara. Now, this is, the price is hefty. I'm just gonna say it right off the bat. The price is crazy for a mascara. Now, I know we are all used to the traditional mascaras. You know, I'm just gonna show my favorite one right here and now. We're all used to traditional mascaras that have a wand and a little applicator and, you know, that's just it. That's how we know mascara. But when a brand is innovative and they create something new that no one's ever done before, you know I had to try it. So it comes in three parts. So I'm sure you're all like, $150? What? It is because it comes in three parts. So you have to buy the mascara applicator. It's a stainless steel wand. So maybe applicator ain't the right word. And then you also have to get the primer separately. Okay. And then you also have to buy the mascara and everything comes in a gorgeous bronzy brown unit carton. So let's open this guy and see what it looks like. This looks like a deadly 007 type of weapon. Does Jack Reacher have one of these? I feel like this is like a secret like taser gun. Okay, but for real, it comes in this gorgeous little package like this. All right, oh. So you see the Hourglass logo is right there and it, it is beautiful. It is very heavy, which I love. When something feels expensive, that means they put a little bit more money into their packaging and I like that. So this feels really nice. Now the primer comes in a little jar type glass component like this. And then the black mascara, the realist is what they're calling it, comes in something like this. They also feel really nice. And I think this is like a hard kind of plasticky kind of, it looks like frosted glass, but it, it feels sturdy. It feels really nice. From doing some research on this little guy, this is the wand. So let's just show this off and see what it looks like in here. Oh my God. God. There are no crazy bristles like a normal mascara. It is like the stainless steel of wonder. As you can see, it has tiny, fine little ridges on the applicator, and I guess you were supposed to dunk it into this once and coat your entire lash line from bottom to tip. Now, with a traditional wand, you guys know how obviously a normal mascara wand looks. You really can't get as close to your lashes as you are supposed to, you know, allegedly. Now, of course, when I do mascara, you can't get to the very, very ends of your, you know, the, I guess the root of your lashes, not the end, excuse me, the root. So this is supposed to help get the closest to your eye as you humanly possibly can. I'm on their website and it says that the lash instrument is engineered to give you ultimate precision and control with the high performance primer and mascara for the most stunningly sophisticated, defined, and lifted lashes. God damn, that's a bold statement. So I guess um, we're gonna give this a whirl. I'm excited, you guys. It is very weird. We're diving off, of course, the weird end of makeup, and I think that's what YouTube's all about. It's fun to try new stuff. If you guys were like rolling in your graves, like, I would never try that. It's okay. I'm gonna try it for you. So this is the Hourglass Primer, and we're just going to open... Oh, I thought the this part would open, but it's this little guy. Oh, okay. Now, for safety reasons, they want you to dip it and then do it on your eye and then wipe before you put back in there so there's no bacteria, which I think is cool. So I have a little hand towel here to wipe off and keep it flawless. Now, let's just see what happens. All right, it's coated, you guys. It is fully coated, so I am just going to, let's just try the right eye first. And my eyelashes might have some crazy glue in it from wearing um, fake lashes for, you know, six months straight, so just ignore them. But um, all right, let's give this a whirl. So I'm just gonna take this and coat all my lashes. Now I am going to wipe it off. And then we're gonna go back in one more time. And now it's time to coat the bottom lashes. All right, lashes are coated. Now, of course, I'm going to 
close this guy up so no air gets in. I'm sure some just got in a little bit, but hey, what can you do? All right, now time for the mascara. Is it gonna work? I don't know, I'm scared, you guys. So let's just undo this, and we're gonna go and then, oh, that is coated completely. Y'all see that? Okay. All right, guys, let's see what happens. So it's definitely grabbing at my lashes a little bit from those little ridges in there. It's definitely coating them all like completely. As you can see, the little ridges from my lashes are there and on the little instrument, you can see where the product has been used. So, all right, now I think it's only fair that we dip it in one more time. Let me just wipe this off and let's see what happens with the bottom. Oh, oh, oh! I may have bumped my eye. One second, please. All right, we're back. I accidentally bumped my eye, but the bottoms are a little tricky. They're not separating how I normally do them, which you could easily fix with a lash comb, of course, if you have one. All right, so here's the difference. This has the full primer and mascara on it, and this one literally has nothing, so you guys can see the difference. Now, definitely, there is a big difference. I think the bottom ones look a little spidery, maybe a little tarantula-y, if you will, but I kind of like that. It's very Tammy Faye Baker, if you will. And for the top one, I think it looks really pretty. Now, of course, I think without a traditional wand, you're not gonna get added crazy volume like maybe I'm used to, but for this sort of soft, glowy, glam look, like, I think it works really well. Now, do I think the price point is worth it? Mm, I don't know about that. Let me go do the other eye, and then I'll give you my final thoughts. All right, so I was about to do this eye with everything, but then I thought, well, since I'm so obsessed with the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara, I'm sure everyone is gonna be like, well, I wanna see a side-by-side -side comparison. So before I do this eye, I was like, oh, well, duh, let me just do that. So you guys can see my favorite mascara compared with this guy, and um, let's just give it a whirl right now. All right, guys, time to compare. Now, mm, right off the bat, I noticed that this one is definitely heavier. While this one did separate nicely, the bottoms kind of look identical, but this mascara was definitely heavier, a little bit more glamorous, if you will, a little bit more like that drama that I crave and love. But if you are someone that loves natural makeup, I definitely think that this could be pretty, but let's just give my final thoughts. All right guys, so I've let the mascara just kind of sit on my eyes for about 30 minutes. I wanted to see if it would get any like little mascara dots because a lot of the times if I look down at something for a few minutes and I look up, there's like mascara dots, which is why I felt so in love with Benefit because that one didn't do it. And guess what? This one didn't do it. So it really doesn't transfer on your skin, which is nice because who the fuck wants to deal with that? Now, final thoughts on the curator. I definitely think if you are a beauty obsessed weirdo, um, this is a good idea and it's fun to use and play with, but I think the price point is way too much and I think it's a little absurd. It's definitely for beauty collectors and makeup obsessed crazies. I just think that you could go to the drugstore and get a dupe for this to look the same. So I think for the effect, it ain't that impressive, but I love the packaging, the style, and it's definitely something innovative and a first of its kind for the beauty world. So I'm definitely glad that I tried it out, but girl, go get yourself a wet and wild mascara if you think this is some bullshit. So looking at the root of my eye, I'm looking up crazy, and this one got pretty damn close, actually. And this one, of course, the hourglass side got way to the tip but I don't see any crazy major difference. I'm glad I gave it a whirl, but will I be swapping out my normal everyday? I don't think so on this one, but mascara is mascara and we all have our favorites. Now, if there is any other crazy beauty inventions or anything else that I've never seen that you guys are like, girl, why haven't you tried this yet? Just leave some 
products in the comments below and I will definitely try them out. I love seeing you guys recommend me stuff. I always click the links and if they look cool, I buy them and here we are, trying them out. Voila, magic. All right, so besides that, you guys, I have a lot more videos coming. I'm finally, listen, when I say finally, I have gotten so many requests to do the tattoo tag and talk about all my tattoos. I have over 100, so I'm like, you know what? There might be part one, two, three, maybe a part four. I don't know how long it's gonna take, but I'm definitely going to be doing that. And besides that, I'm gonna be doing the boyfriend Q&A part three with Nathan finally. And I'm gonna be doing part three of Jeffree Star Cosmetics on the road. Now I've been traveling a lot, doing photo shoots and a bunch of other cool stuff that I film and don't really get to put into makeup tutorials or first impressions type of stuff. So there's gonna be a lot more coming. And if you guys have any more ideas, Sound off below, baby. But as always, thank you so much for watching the debauchery, and I'll see you on the next one. Mwah. Bye, guys. <laughs>